We're in the 1% though. That goes from north to south in a single day. That's epic. Check this out, guys. Look at this sick view. Are you ready? Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P. How you guys doing? All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be talking CGO. Um, they have updated their software and they have a new feature that I think is worth sharing. A while back, I had a, a request to see if we could have some sort of like point to point correspondence within CGO to tell like how far the distance is between two caches. And at that time, that kind of software wasn't available. However, CGO has made some new changes and I think it's time we roll out another CGO tutorial. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty impressed with what it's done and also how user-friendly it is. I do wanna add real quick that if you're not familiar with CGO, it's basically like the geocaching app for the Android phone. Um, I have a bunch of other tutorials on like the basics, the search query features, um, if you have not seen any of those videos, go give them a look. Um, they cover all kinds of topics. This is just the newest revelation that CGO has come out with. So I figured we should dive into it because you might find it just as user-friendly as I do. And I can tell you that I have used these features frequently and often, and I absolutely love them. All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna be doing this on my phone. We've got CGO pulled up right here. Um, and you guys are looking at the screen that I am looking at. I want to start off with the bike trail. So we're gonna zoom in and we are going to click on the button here and we're gonna change it to a satellite map. So you guys can kind of see um, the satellite imagery that we're working on. So there's a couple of new features that they've got here on CGO that I think are definitely worthwhile to check out. If you want to figure out the coordinates of a particular spot on the map, all you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom in to where you're interested at and you're going to hold down the screen. You will see a pin drops on the map. When that pin drops, it comes up with a few options. It has create user defined cache, which we're not going to use, that has append to root, which we will use. It has show coordinates, and then it has navigate. So we're going to do show coordinates. So that will give you the coordinates of any spot. So you can either hit copy or you can hit OK. We're going to kind of just leave those there, um, but we'll come back to that feature. If you wanted to know how far the distance is between two caches on a bike trail, for, for instance, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So we're gonna take our index finger and we're gonna push down on the geocache. And at the bottom, you'll see it popped up with added to root. Then we're gonna use the next cache north of it and also hold it down. And it's gonna create an imaginary blue line that connects the two. So your distance from one geocache to the next in a straight line, line of sight, is 0.13 miles. Now, if you wanted to do the distance between the next caches, you could do that as well. You would just, again, hold down the button and the blue line is going to extend beyond the first two, all right? If you wanted to like walk it back, you could just hold one down that you wanna get rid of and it will keep the blue line with the two that you are interested in keeping. So that will give you the distance between individual geocaches. If you're like, well, I wanna know how far it is from the parking area to the last geocache, you can do that as two, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and clear out these blue, this blue line you're gonna click on the little zigzag wiggly thing at the bottom of the screen next to the spoke. You'll click on the pencil. Oh, yeah, you click on the pencil. Then you're gonna click on the trash can, trash can, and you'll hit check mark. Okay, so let's say you were parking down here on the side of Highway 66. So you're gonna hold it down. The pin's gonna drop up. You're gonna hit append to root. And what that does is it creates a virtual spot on the map. And if you wanted to know how far it was from that spot all the way down to the other end 
of the bike trail, which is this last cache on this stretch, you would just hold it down and bada bing, bada boom, it creates that imaginary blue line from your parking coordinates all the way to the other end. And it says line of sight is roughly 1.94 miles. Now that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and clear this out. And let's see how far it is individually between all of these caches. So again, we'll hold them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your entire distance is 1.89 miles one way. You would have to obviously come back, but that gives you your point to point correspondence within a given bike trail. And you can do this between any sets of caches. Let's go ahead and clear these out. So we'll just hit the little delete button on all these, a little trash can here, hit the check mark, and that blue line automatically goes away. But I mean, you can literally do that on any set of caches anywhere. If you're like, well, I wanna go from this cache to this cache, well, there you go, it's 0.79 miles one way. And that's if you were to follow that blue route. It's probably longer because you can't travel that exact direct route. The cool thing that I really like about this is if you're looking for like a parking spot, or you need to know the coordinates for a parking area, the show the coordinates option is the coolest thing. So let's say you wanna go here, you're gonna hold it down, you'll hit navigate. It's gonna bring up all these other options and you're gonna click navigate, navigation, and then driving, and it's gonna pull up Google Maps. So the navigation feature is really, really cool because it will navigate you to anywhere you want to go on the map just using point-to-point -point correspondence. Um, you can also use this feature um, on other geocaches. Like if you're like out kayaking or you wanna know how far you're gonna be kayaking on a body of water, you can do the same thing. You can so guys, these new features are super cool, right? I mean, you can do so much stuff using the interface that CGO has put in on their geocaching app to allow you to see where the coordinates are, to see the distance between two geocaches, to navigate to a particular spot that you're interested in getting to. I love this because I can just pick out a spot. I can look it up on Google Street View to see what it looks like in that area. This makes it simpler because in the past, I used to use Google Earth to get all my GPS coordinates for parking lots. Now, I don't have to do that. This takes that away and allows me to focus on just CGO all on one platform with these amazing features. I know it has helped my life out tremendously and it has sped things up a lot and has allowed me the freedom to just boop, poke the map, see the coordinates, send them to a friend and say, hey, meet me here, or hey, I'm gonna go there, and my phone just navigates me right there. By all means, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you at my earliest available moment. Um, if you're not a Geocaching with Triple P subscriber, I really hope you'll consider subscribing so you can help me reach my sub goal of 260 subs. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.